Welcome back. Today in this video I'm going to show how I've added a couple different power-ups and drop items. The first one is this power-up gas. I'm just naming them all power-up for now. And a nano chip. So these are both made out of particle emitters. So I'm going to show that. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like. They basically drop um, with some chance from every enemy that I destroy. And let's see what they look like. All right, none of them dropped. All right, there are two of them. Some more up top. So I have this little sparkly thing and a green gas cloud. So let me show you how I've made them. Well, first of all, I'll show you how they um, act when I pick them up. So when I get close to one, I'll show you how close I get before it disappears. And then you'll notice that it just fades instead of the full thing disappearing all at once, so that's on purpose. And then the, the sparkly one just disappears right when you, uh, you touch it. So, like that. All right, let's get out of the game. Head over to some scripting. And what I've done is uh, I've given them a name. So when you uh, instantiate these they get a clone in parentheses tacked onto the name. So in the drop item script, I'm going to take care of all the power ups in one script. Um, I give them a speed here, drop speed, and that just determines how quickly they go down the screen. So down here, the update, all it's going to do is move it down the screen a little bit. The trans uh, transform dot position adds a vector 3 and I've given it a negative uh, direction in the y drop speed times time dot delta time and then the trigger when I pick up the item um, I'm gonna head in here to on trigger enter and I'm gonna check for the tag of whatever touches the power up so if it's the player then I'm gonna head into this switch and depending on which power up it is it's going to have a different effect on the name so right now I'm just counting the gas is going to give 100 points um, and then there are going to be some nano chips which will be some more valuable little power up or technology unlocking uh, mechanism for the game so that's what I have and let's see let's head over to display really quick so I've added in one line here for um, showing uh, basically the score throughout the game and this will probably change at least the numbers will change and how I use them and maybe even the names but what I've ha what I have now is I draw a GUI dot label which uh, needs a rectangle and I've started just past where the health bar is and um, give it some uh, width and a height and I just say uh, how much gas have I collected and uh, how many nano chips. So that's pretty easy. So let's head back over into Unity and show you how these emitters are set up. Um, I have the, the size and the energy and the emission requirements. They look pretty nice for me for what I'm going for. Let me start down here at the bottom. And I have given the... Uh, the emitter this material of steam blur and I kind of like it so let's show the parameters here and this is supposed to be some kind of a gas some somehow you shoot the ship and it drops uh, I don't know it's gas tank or something um, so it's emitting gas so it's in motion which I like and you pick it up and it's kind of like you're sucking it in maybe so you don't just grab it all at once or maybe you do grab the, the container and there's still some gas floating out there in space until it dissipates. So what I have done here in the animator, I've given all five of these color animations the same color, and then which is this green one. And then you notice there's a, a black, and, and then a half white, half black, and then mostly white, and a bar on these color animation strips here. And that's for transparency. So if you want something to fade in and then fade out, then you need to have the first one 
and the last one have zero transparency or this alpha parameter set down to zero. And then I have it not quite going to full. It just depends on how dark I want it to be. And then I have it fading in symmetrically and fading back out symmetrically. So um, the random force gives the look of a uh, flowing gas, which I like. Um, I'll note here that there's auto destruct is checked. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then up here on the emitter, we have emit checked. Of course, we want it to emit and um, have an animation. So um, the parameters here, uh, nothing too exciting. Um, the shape of the ellipsoid is kind of the, the size of the gas that I want to emit. Um, so in the script now, I'm going to go back over to the drop item. And when the player runs over the gas, then the emitter gets set to false. And what that does is it leaves all of the particles that are in existence. Uh, they play out for the rest of their lifetime. But it doesn't spawn anymore. And as soon as all of the particles are gone, then that auto-destruct, which I have checked, um, that tells it, all right, I don't need you anymore now. You can destroy yourself. And so it does it that way. Uh, the nano chip is different. I wanted it to be a dramatic, uh, you go and grab a, a thing. It's a chunk of metal or something. And um, when you get in contact with it, then you just pick it up and it, it disappears. So that's how I have that. Heading back over to the nano chip now. I am using the star 2 material on it. And uh, I basically have the color animation is just white. I would like to do some kind of a silver shiny thing, but this is what I have for now. Um, again, I have it fading in and fading out. You can tell by the black line on the color animations 0 and 4. And then the ellipsoid, um, I have it 0 0.05, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05 for the, the shape there, and with a random rotation. So um, without that, it looks too static for me, and I want it to be really random. And I've just played around with the settings for size, energy, and emission for both of these guys until I have it pretty close to how I want it. You can always tweak these later, but... In case they do change later, I don't want to spend too much time on it right now. So that's how it is, and um, thanks for watching.